All right, so this is my wood stove project that I've been working on. I got it up and going and everything is working great, really. Now, that right now I'm running it on oil. I can run it on both oil and wood. All I gotta do is just take out that little plate there and install the plate that was sent with the stove. But what I've done here is I've taken some just normal black pipe and fed copper line into it. Now that copper line feeds up here into my oil reservoir, which is just an old fuel tank, and I made this mount for it, and I got a drip valve. And that feeds the bowl in there with oil. And then I took a hair dryer, I gutted the hair dryer out of it, and I have an AC-DC adapter feeding this pulse width modulation controller so I can turn the speed down. And that's just feeding 12 volts just straight to the hair dryer motor. And it's just as a blower now. And then I have the hair dryer body that's actually stuffed into that shop vac adapter that's feeding the hose down that fits right over the normal black pipe here. Now this weird contraption on the stove door is a fresh air intake. The reason I have the fresh air intake is instead of the stove pulling a draft through all the little holes in the in the chicken house here, I'm you know giving it its draft by just hooking it straight to the outside. So hopefully now, hopefully, the heat that's coming off the wood stove is not fighting the draft that's pulling through all the little holes in the building. You know, it, it can go ahead and pull all the air it needs from the outside right through there without making it any colder in here and it can keep the temperature higher in the house in the chicken house now i've been burning this for a few hours now so i got quite a bit of oil deposit or ash deposit down in there and it's not burning the hottest sometimes you got to kind of break it up and it can burn a little hotter But it definitely maintains temperature in here very well. Like I boiled off that whole pot of water within an hour. Now the one thing with oil is I do burn a little bit cooler. And I believe that is because I, I probably need to raise the voltage going to the hair dryer. Because then I can add more oil and I can get that temperature up. But right now with the amount of air that I have, I can't add that much more oil or else I'm I'm very I'm very rich on the air fuel mixture and then I have black smoke which in creates a sooty buildup in the chimney pipe right now it burns clean but it's cooler which which is fine as long as it's clean it's good so now I do have double wall out through the wall and all the way to the top so let me grab my light here you can't really see it but it is burning very clean this is how I have my change light here that's my fresh air intake that's all the air that the stove needs it could possibly get through that and then my chimney i kind of had to space it out so that way i had my clearances right but i mean it all worked great i mean i couldn't ask for a better setup and that's just all thrown together from scrap wood and all scraps except for the actual chimney supplies but yeah it works great And I believe it's in the 50s right now out here, so it's keeping this really warm. And this is this is about a 30 by 20 building. I mean, it is sloped. It's 11 feet up here and roughly four and a half feet back there. But yeah, we're maintaining good temperature. And another thing is, I I can up the oil flow going to the stove. But it, like I said, it does make it very rich. 
it gets hot. I do get up to the 400, 450 degree range, but it's rich and a lot of soot build up within the chimney and I, I try to not do that. And one other thing is where I've got this copper running through, I just soldered that connection, you know, to keep air from blowing through it from the hair dryer. And it's worked great. I, I was kind of worried about the stove heat melting that copper out, but I think the cool air that the air dryer is blowing in is, you know, helping keep the heat off of it. I mean, you can feel a good ways down here and it don't start getting hot till about right there. That, that right there is about all the closer you want to touch it, which is still really close to the stove because I guarantee if you touch this, it would burn you. I mean, it's boiling water, so. And I do have that, that copper line as centered as I can. That's why I cut this here and here. So that way I could, you know, kind of contour the copper to the cut or the shape of the black pipe. So, I'm very happy with how it works. But I also have wood just in case I run out of oil, which working at deer, I, I don't see that I'll run out of oil. But sometimes it does. It, it's just nice to burn wood. You know, the old wood stove smell. <laughs>